Ooh, why the freaking white crappie? You didn't expect that. I was going for a shiner. Oh. Level six, everybody. Big deal, big deal, because there's one thing I wanted to get at level six. So uh, not only do we get the, the rod stand, but there's, there's one reel that I want to get. And then we're heading to Mudwater, everyone. So pack your tackle boxes and hit the like button, everybody. It's time to start beginner series episode number two. Level six, obviously, besides the rod stand, the one thing I am interested in getting is this Aspire Spin uh, Slim 1000 here. We're gonna purchase that, which is a pretty big chunk. I mean, we only had like 7,500, and that's 2,500, so. Quite a bit, quite a bit there, um, but it is gonna help us, especially uh, when we go to uh, like, like uh, Emerald Lake. I mean, we're still gonna be able to use this setup. Maybe change the rod. Um, for Emerald Lake, so I'm looking forward to that, and I'm going to throw this 3.4 pounder onto the uh, the four pound telefoot, and then I'm going to sell this only for a hundred bucks. But that's uh, that's all we can do at the moment. Uh, let's see here. We have six pound fluoro, which we got from something, either leveling up or uh, gosh, I, I have no idea. But we're going to go ahead and toss it onto uh, onto this bad boy, which is going to help us out because now we have 6.5 pound rod, six pound line, and five pound reel. Pretty dang close to max drag, but we're not quite there, unfortunately. Uh, the rod is still too strong, but who knows? I don't. I, yeah, we'll just have to see. Anywho, let's uh, let's go ahead and look at the missions here. Mudwater, we got the same stuff, catching small fish, uh, but $1,200 travel costs. Uh, we already spent the $200 for the license. I think we're good to go, at least to uh, go ahead and start catching some fish, because if we look at our landing fish nets. Uh, we can buy this fish cell, which is just a tad bit bigger, but I'm kind of looking forward to that. So now I'm questioning my judgment here. Might actually not be a bad plan going with that instead. It's less money and I, have to, I don't have to wait two more le levels. Eh, let's just be patient. Alright, let's go ahead and head to Mudwater. We're going to catch some bass and pickerel. Let's go ahead and go there. All right, all right, all right. First time at Mudwater and uh, I've just landed down at the bottom uh, beach here it's upside down when you look at uh when you look at the menu here yeah you can see this we're down at the bottom left uh, if you look at the map it seems the opposite it seems like we're up top but we're not uh here we are i actually like this spot this is a pretty good spot i used to fish those logs religiously but uh this is actually not a bad spot either but i will say the day that we're on we definitely need to uh definitely need to change the time let's just forward time to around here and we should be Good to go, everybody. Should be good to go. We're using number one hooks right now. Um, casting spoons. We've upgraded a little bit to a little larger spoon, so we should be pretty good to catch some bass here. Let's just find out. Don't know exactly what they're uh, what they're biting on either, but we're gonna find out. Partly cloudy right now. A little bit of a stop and go going on. I have to switch to the twitch. This reel is powerful, man. And this, uh, this casting spin has taken a long time to go down. Okay. Yikes. Drag there a little bit. There we go, our first little largey. That'll work. Young largemouth bass, new personal record. It's our only record. <laughs> 0 0.924, 50 bucks. Nothing to brag about, but they're gonna get larger, man. They're gonna get larger. I've slowed down to a one speed. It's giving me a three-star twitch. I'm just waiting for that bite to come in. Let's see if it, yeah, there it is. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So it seems like we're able to pull off a strong enough twitch with the one speed that it was working just fine with us. Good deal. I was starting to wonder if I made the the best call with that, uh, you know, the uh, the Spyro Slim. I was starting to wonder if maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh God. No, it all worked out. Good deal. Top notch. Let's just throw him back in. We got more to catch. Golly, we didn't. I didn't even do like two hits of the twitch. Already had one on. Oh, I'm walking backwards to get this guy still on. Golly, golly, the bass are killing it. They're killing it, man. Not giving me a lot of money for those smaller ones, but that's okay. We're still catching them. That's what matters. Wee, 
much small, very sm much small, very small. It's actually a crappie. Holy schmoly, big old crappie. <laughs> well, that is uh, that'll work, eh? 103 bucks, 1.5 pounds too. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it, bro. Wee wee wee. Bigger fish. Got to keep the tension up though. Slightly bigger fish anyway. At the very beginning he was pulling some line out, but no, it's not. It seemed very small. It is! It's only a pound! Man, he was pulling line out at the very beginning there. He's just feisty, I guess. Actually got him on the uh, stop and go. I've been doing Twitch, but then I decided to switch it up. Golly, man. I, no, I think the Twitch is the way to go. <laughs> Same thing on that one. I hit, I hit the Twitch like two times and immediately got one on. So... Man, I might got lucky with that stop and go, but the Twitch is definitely the way to go about it. Super small bass, but there are one after another, man. That is all right in my book, for right now anyway. We're about halfway through our keep net, so you can tell how this day's going by real quick. Ooh, now that's a good sized fish. That one was pulling out line too, though. The last one that did that, see, he's pulling out line even now. Last one that did that, though, he, uh,. He ended up being a very small one, so can't say much, can I? Better hold, hold my tongue or else I'll jinx it. <laughs> strong fish, strong fish. Pulling out more line now, not bad. Come on, fish, come on, fish. It's always fun to be in this scenario when you're used to uh, fish pulling out line like this when they're in their 50 pounder club or whatever, but here we are lower level it's gonna be like one and a half pounds two pounds what he's an absolute monster <laughs> oh there you go though that's exciting though you're low level man that's uh that's great pb bass man 2.117 was it <laughs> golly golly oh no <laughs> i pulled him out of the water he's so small oh golly little 0.628 bass Oh, that's you gotta be careful when you're, uh, you know, holding the right, right button or whatever, you know, holding the rod up high and reeling at the same time. If you pull them out of the water, all tension goes away. And I remember losing bass after bass in Everglades because of that. So, gotta be, gotta be choosy sometimes. Okay, all right, I see you. Man, I was just about to say, I'm kind of worried that I hit some sort of limit here. Because uh, that was like probably my sixth cast after the last one we caught. This wasn't wasn't getting any others. It was kind of crazy. Ooh, ooh, tell you what does keep happening though. Uh, I'll be reeling it in, and then all of a sudden, um, something will come along and bump the lure without uh, hooking up. That's happened a couple times now. It ruins the complete retrieve because you kind of throw it out to like 40, and you expect a bite, you know, before you get to like 25. And uh, if something bumps you, it just ruins the entire retreat. <laughs> 1.7, not too shabby, 129 bucks. But we're just about filling up our uh, keep net here. We only have three pounds left. This is just like two more of those dudes. Ooh, little one, very little one. All right, all right, 0.901, not too shabby. Ooh. ooh. Little guy, another little guy. 963. One more of those. Ooh, he's taking line out. Splash at the top, little splash at the top. Could he be over a pound? Could he be over a pound? Oh, it's a pickerel. What? Trophy grass pickerel. What in the world? <laughs> oh, man. How funny is that? He, he's like glass. He's so shiny and like a jewel or something. Goodness gracious. Well, that's going to take us over the mark for uh, a level and it's going to take us over the mark for our keep net. Let's see what we got here. Level seven feather light rod with some other reels and stuff. Uh, the Creek Pro is that that's, that's going to be a good one. Nine foot ten there. And uh, we got small minnows, which is awesome, as well as the quarter ounce narrow spoon and all that jazz should be great to use at emerald here in another level but we're just gonna keep on working we have uh a number we got a rod and a reel i want to get rod holder uh 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 rod uh case need the three rod case is what i want and um 
What's the other one? Larger keep net. Kind of things I have in mind before I head to Emerald. Um, but right now we probably need to uh, go ahead. Let's see how much money this is. 1,049 bucks. Not a ton, but that's okay. We can uh, go ahead and throw that into the old bank because we're going to skip on to the next day. Though we have to wait 30 minutes, evidently. Yawn. Um, so at this level, one whole bait coin is kind of a big deal. I don't want to spend a bait coin. I only got seven of them. So, uh, I, you know, we got dogs in the background too. Honestly, I guess I'll take a, a nap or something and wait 30 minutes. Just wasting time right now trying to, trying to keep on, keep on going here. But I've still got six minutes to wait, so I'm just catching fish for this darn mission. Okay, all right, he nail. I see how it is. It's a little different than mud water. We throw that float out. It's actually going to float down the river, which you're not used to with Lone Star. Oh, oh, oh. Something, something's making some commotion here. It's taken. It's taken. A crappie. Oh, we don't need a crappie. I want something small. Give me a shiner or a bluegill or something. <laughs> Alrighty, that's the timer. <laughs> Should be able to switch time now. Sweet. Oh, it's a different day. I'm not sure, man. That bass fishing was so good on that first day. Oh no, the next one. Next one's on day five. Oh, we're just gonna have to switch on over to this day, I guess. We might regret it. We might regret doing it. There's $1,049 though, and now we can catch some more bass during the prime time, the new prime time. Give it a go, I suppose. So here's something interesting between that first day and this day now. I don't see any fish jumping over here, but I do see a lot of fish jumping out here. Obviously, when I go to show it, they're not doing it. I swear they were. <laughs> Let's see if we can get anything out of here. Ooh, okay. All right, there we go. One fish on. Woo, man, he looks big for 1.296 when he came in and just like flopped towards our face. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. I just can't, if you're playing this game, I can't tell you enough how important it is to pay attention to the weather. The most overlooked thing you can do is not pay attention to the weather. Obviously, we were having a ton of fun catching a ton of bass on a day like day five right here. Um, and now we're switched to this. Totally different day. The weather is completely different. Uh, the spot that we were fishing in might be awful now. Uh, the time we were fishing in is awful now. It's the complete opposite. Instead of being in the middle of the day, that's great. It's on you know the, in the morning and the afternoon. So you just really have to pay attention. And if you're playing one day and you're not catching any fish in your normal spot, look at the weather because the weather might be the reason why. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. People, you know, they get upset playing this game sometimes, and I'm just I'm pointing out things. I'm pointing out things now to pay attention to because it's easy to get upset but then you start thinking oh weather's different oh I'm using the wrong size of hook oh uh, it's not the color of, uh, of lure that I need for the weather right now and then you start realizing oh maybe I'm not doing the right retrieve and if you fix all of these things you start catching more fish maybe maybe you just need to be totally switching up fishing instead of doing lures you should be throwing out bottom rods for uh, catfish, you know? You don't know. You, you just gotta try some stuff, man. Ooh, 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 boy. Another fish on, another fish on. Good deal. Oh, yeah. It's two fish over a pound. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, man. Ooh, and smaller fish this time. Uh, still doing the twitch. The twitch is still working though, so that's good. Doesn't matter what the weather is, the twitch is still working so far. Good to see. Whoa, got another fish on. I was just seeing a bunch of fish moving over there in the logs too, so we might run over there and try that. Taking out line too. I like the sound of that. Always gotta love when you hear that clicking. Gets your heart racing. Start thinking, oh, big fish. Big fish, let's go. Last time the uh, line ran like this, he got over two pounds, set our new uh, PB. Oh man, could we have another PB? I just saw, I was looking at it. Um, I do believe they have trophy 
uh, largemouth bass here, which is pretty impressive. I just think, hey, guys, I'm trying to do a video here. Um, I just think you might need to use a larger hook to get up to those guys. We're using a number one right now, and that's 1.997, real close to two, just not quite there. We still have a ways to get to level eight, though, so let's keep on keeping at it, I suppose. Ooh, got another one. Very small, very small. Let's go 28 out of 250 on my Bassmaster achievement. <laughs> good deal. That's that's good to know, I suppose. Ooh, nice size one, it looks like. Just caught a trophy crappie, and now this guy. What's this? You got a freshwater drum! You've got to be kidding me! What the heck, man? <laughs> well, just like in real life, they go after lures sometimes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, good deal. I was needing to catch one of those, too, so that is just perfect in my book. Got him. Got him. There we go. Another drummer. You gotta be joking me. It's the second one. Second one in a row. <laughs> what is going on with these stinking drama? New personal record. Yay. <laughs> That is hilarious. At least they're giving fairly decent XP, I guess. Even though they're kind of heavy. I don't know, I'm just gonna release it, honestly. That's two pounds for $70? No thanks. I get a one pound bass for $90. Golly. Ooh, big fish. At least it was taking out a line at first. Now not so much, but hey. Oh, there he goes. It is a bass, at least. <laughs> No more drums, goodness gracious. It's taking out a line, taking out a line. I'm guessing one and a half. Oh god, I think at this point we'd be lucky to get one and a half. 1.625 though, not too shabby, everybody. Let's go, let's go. We got him. Top notch. Ooh, another good size one. Ooh, ooh, keep the tension, keep the tension up. Come on, you fish. This is coming straight for us. I'm kind of worried it's a drum again. That's not. It's a, it's a bass. Good deal. 1.308 too. Well, we're so close. We're like a quarter away. A quarter away from getting uh, getting the darn level 8. It's going to be so important. Oh my goodness. That's a decent size one. At least from the start. Let's see if he just gives up. He's taking line out. We got him, we got him. Not a big deal, bro. One and a quarter. One and a quarter is what I'm thinking. Oh, I don't know. I don't know now. I'm going one and a half. I'm going up. Wee, wee. Got some fighting them anyway. One and a half here. 1.885. Goodness gracious, that'll work. Unfortunately, that that is gonna take us over the edge of our key net. We've just got so we got so little. So little we need here. Look at this. Just a little bit. Little bit. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if we can just catch a few more bass to level up. I was catching so many bass over there, I never did come over here to, uh, to see if this spot was any good. I saw so many fish jumping over here. You can't help but think that there are lots of fish over here. Look, even where it is right now, it's, 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 there's, there's movement on the water from fish. Come on, man. There's gotta be something. Gotta be something in here. Show us what it is. Show us what it is. Yeah, it's not working. I'm sure we can catch some smaller fish out of there, but I'm looking for big fish. Come on now, give me some big fish. Oh, there's something that wants it over here. Something that wants it over here. It's taking it. It's taking it. That's a... God. What do we get? A big black tail shiner. Right on. Well, that works. God, we were going for doughbells this entire time trying to get a black tail shiner, and then it takes a freaking two hook on a red worm switch those red worm on a two hook i i don't even come on man i, I don't even know what to say Ooh, another one. Ooh, golly oh golly reel in quick he now reel in quick wow we got both shiners on a freaking red worm that blows my mind blows my mind number two of all things Wow, okay. My whole world's just been open right now. I was sure we were gonna catch like a giant bluegill or something on number two hook, but no. Shiners! On a number two hook! 
how was I messed up that throw? We still might catch something there. Yep, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Something big. Something big, evidently. Just immediately took that. Golly, golly. Not prepared for it, that's for sure. Is it a bass? What the heck is this thing? I wonder if it's a bass, dude. It's jumping. It's jumping on a red worm. It is a bass. What in the freaking world? <laughs> what a freaking dude. Number eight, red worm. What in the world, man? Come on. Hey, lucky bobber too, though. Perform a certain number of successful strikes in a row. Two bait coins. I'll take it. I'll take this fish. There it goes. We got it. Oh my god, it's actually... It's a pumpkin seed. Wow, I was just about to say it was a bluegill. I saw the yellow belly, but it's a pumpkin seed. Ooh, what do we got? Another shiner. Yay. Why? Oh, at least we got level 8. Okay, top notch. So, at level 8, we get some cool stuff. We got the fish hut L. Stands for large, I suppose. <laughs> some other cool stuff, but uh, the best part about it is that we unlocked Emerald Lake. One Bitcoin, 1500 ain't too bad either. But Emerald Lake is the biggest thing. Now, I will tell you all because we're going to end the episode here. I'm not going to continue on and then go to Emerald. But uh, I do have some things in mind. First off, I wanted to have this spinning setup that we have right now. I have it all on this note card right here. Um, I wanted to have this spinning rod, that, uh, rod and reel setup that we have right now because it's going to work for the walleye. I'm going to throw on a narrow spoon. We're going to head out there. We're going to catch a ton of walleye on that narrow spoon. Now, the kicker is that we're going to need to get a rod stand. Now, I don't remember how that, how much that is, 600 bucks, something like that. Um, that is going to be something that we get. And then we're going to get a feeder rod. Now, we don't have a feeder rod right now. We have a float setup and a spinning setup, but we're going to get a feeder rod, and that is going to be made up of the Creek Pro 9-foot-10. Why don't I just show you it, huh? Why don't I just show you? Well, I'll tell you why I'm not going to show it to you, because we need to uh, fish here still some more to make some more money before we can leave. But we're going to use the Creek Pro 9'10 and combine it with the Inspire Cast 3000. Now, hopefully, by the time I start the third episode, I will have all that, or, or at least be at the point where I'll be buying that stuff to show all of you. Um, I would also want to get the Fish Hut large which we just unlocked at level eight um for 2000 i believe so all together um we're looking at 49.50 for the rod and reel feeder setup with small minnows which i didn't factor in plus the fish hut large two thousand dollars all the while remembering that we're gonna need three thousand dollars to travel to emerald lake as well as five hundred dollars to skip to the next day we're gonna make plenty of money once we get to Emerald Lake, but it's super important to make sure we have that spinning setup as well as the feeder rod setup to make the most of the uh, our opportunity at Emerald, basically. And then we're just gonna stay there for multiple days. So it's uh, very important to have that travel to cost plus the day um, to stay afterwards in your bank, 3,500. So anyway, at least I think it's 500 today. I, I'm not really sure. Plus the license fee, which I didn't even look at. So. Just something to think about, I think, as you're here at Mudwater. Obviously, it costs us like 1200 bucks to come here, so don't just like leave and come back all the time. That's basically a whole day. Like, we just spent this whole day here, caught a bunch of largemouth bass, and only made $1,050. If we leave every single day, we're just going to lose money. We're going to lose $500 a pop every time we leave. So, definitely going to be staying here till I can afford the $4,950 to $4,000. Uh, $4,950 for the feeder rod, as well as the $2,000 for the the large hut. Um, that's $69.50, which we do have enough money for, but we need to remember that we need license, we need travel, and a day afterwards. So, you know, we're looking at another $4,500 or more there. So, anyway, um, very close, very close. I think we need another $2,000, $3,000. I think we'll stay here at Mudwater for another three days then we should be all good to go. And that's where we're gonna be starting off in the third episode. So, hopefully, this was good uh, information for you. Mudwater River is a great way to make money quick, a quick thousand dollars, real uh, real quick. Um, and then we're just gonna keep doing this for a few more days to uh, get enough money to get us prepared for Emerald, as well as the money to go to Emerald. 
And that's where episode number three will be, everyone. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, leave a like. Um, subscribe to the BZ Hub. If you're not already, you're just missing out, everyone. Fantastic uh, information. Lots of cool stuff every single week. And if you want to join us at our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. But until the next episode, everyone, take care. And as always, remember, everyone, we're one planet, one family. Game on.